Hey guys, welcome back. In a previous video, I discussed why I removed or deleted my fuel separator. But in this video, we're not going to discuss that. You can go and watch that video. I will put a link in the description for you to go and watch it. But in this particular video, I would like to discuss the fact that some of us I've seen connect our fuel pump directly to our carburetors with no return line in it as I have here. I'd like to discuss that. Firstly, fuel going directly from the fuel pump to the carb puts a lot of pressure on the carb. The pressure is too high and what will happen is that you could have a situation where you have overfueling. You will actually have fuel dripping down on the side here of the carb. And also I must mention that raw fuel dripping onto a hot manifold is a serious fire hazard so you need to be careful. And also what could happen is that the, there will be so much pressure on the fuel line that it will actually cause the engine to flood. Because the fuel comes in at such a high pressure that even after you've switched off the engine there is still pressure in the line and it actually fills up the fuel bowl and that fuel bowl, bowl overflows and that fuel then makes its way onto your spark plugs and that is why you will also find a hard start because it's basically flooded so that is why it's important to have a fuel return line which runs off your pipe that comes from your pump to your car and in the middle there you can see there is a T-piece which basically connects to the return line and with that pipe on it basically eases off the pressure if it becomes too much going into the carb. 